Okay, so here's the inverse. I've got pressure spikes. So let's take a look at the pressure spike problem. Okay, so I've got a commercial site with a normally open master valve. So the main line's always pressurized. And it's moderate pressure, but sometimes we get pressure spikes from the supply, whatever the supply is, whether it's domestic or pump, whatever it is. And those spikes can damage components. Okay. So let's talk about the goals and what we want to achieve here. So we don't want to allow those pressure spikes to damage our main lines and our components or our valves or other things, right? Um, and I want to, so I'd like to automatically close the master valve when the pressure exceeds 150 PSI. Okay, so we're going to use pressure on this one because we're already on that. So here's what we need to make that happen. I've already given you, I'm giving you the hardware because this is just like we did before. Same connection to the main line, one of those pressure components. Although what is critical is I got to have a master valve in the equation one way or the other, got to have a master valve. So a pressure, a pressure uh, input and a master valve, I must have that to make this work. So for programming this, we're going to do this at flow setup. We'll do control points. We're going to do this at the control point level, right? Um, because I want to influence everything downstream of that master valve. I'm going to set a high pressure limit. The limit's going to be 150 PSI, and I'm going to click shut down. So let's look at that. So that's in flow setup, control points. And if you only have one control point, it's not a big deal. Okay. And let's go to edit. In this case, I'm going to set a high pressure limit. Okay. And here I said 150 PSI, not 1500 PSI, and shut down. Now I got a problem here because I don't have my pressure sensor. Got to have my pressure sensor. Got to have my right flow meter and my right master. I got to have the devices in there. And we said that was normally open. So I got to have that set up. I should also be setting up my flow data too, but this is the critical run. This is high pressure limit. So in that last one, why didn't I do a low pressure? Why didn't we said, I said 50 PSI. Why didn't I do that? What's different than what I did for the school? What you what do you, what's the difference here? It would have shut the master valve and you wouldn't have been able to water anything else. Yeah, nice. Good catch. Excellent. Right. This is, this is a master valve impacting the entire main line. What we did before was program specific. So do you want to influence an entire program or do I want to influence the entire main line? This influences the entire main line and everything downstream of the master valve. Right. And this one actually shuts it down. It doesn't, right. It's not a pause. It's a shutdown. It will change, but until it resets. So this is not, this is not where we want to do it, but different levels, right? So we can set up, we can't shut down the water meter or generally shut down the pump station, but I can shut down the master valve and, and I can influence the, the main line or the zones on the main line.